Hi, my name is Shneja Janti, and I represent Flanagan's Writers, Inc. <laughs> then America said, let there be light, and there was light. And America saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. America called the light white and the darkness black. Dear daughter, when the boy says he only likes white girls, know he's afraid of the dark. No men shoot what they fear, and bullets have always been black girl kryptonite. No shrinkage is a survival tactic. Our first lesson that making ourselves small still takes up too much space. No, your blackness is desirable at the slave auction, but not at the school dance. No, America's bedtime stories will never include you. No, they're written with the same words they prayed you would never learn to read. And slavery passed, and slavery returned, marking the 21st century. Then America said, let there be a space between the races to separate the supremacy of the light from the lowliness of the dark. And that is what happened. America called this space Eurocentric beauty standards, and America saw that it was good. When the boy says he only likes mixed girls, no, he has never slept without a nightlight. When he puts light skins and dark skins in competition, no colorism is a rivalry neither of you knew you were having. You see, he hopes to be your puppet massa. The strings he pulls or wants nooses, you see, if the blacks hate each other enough, they won't notice when the system leaves them all hanging. America also set racial dating preferences. America set these preferences to guide the beauty standard, to govern the light and the darkness, and to separate the whites from the blacks. And America saw that it was good. When the black boy says he doesn't like black girls, no, he fears the monster under his bed will look just like the one on top of it. No, he's forgotten his existence is proof a black woman is worth loving. He is the black sheep America refuses to count. And while some people wake up on the wrong side of the bed, one day his ancestors woke up on the wrong side of the globe. Know that it's hard to see a future with a boy who's six foot and he'll soon be six feet under. Know the moral of America's bedtime stories is self-hatred. Know that on the last page he dies for our country's sins and his citizens betray him like Judas. And daughter, before you ever think to ask if your crush likes black girls, know the universe is a black girl. Know that stars are nothing without the dark skin that holds it. You were created in God's image, not America's. And that is good. <laughs>